Hello everyone. We are fast approaching a new year, thanks be to God. And we all have hopes and dreams and goals for the following year. Here is a short video about manifesting. Now there are loads of manifesting techniques and they all work. Not every one of them work every time for everything or for everyone, but they all work. So if you found a manifesting technique for yourself that actually works, I would suggest you stick with it. There's no point in fooling around when you found something that works for you. Now, if you are having some difficulties, I'm going to share one with you that I know that works 100%. At least I can tell you that every time I've used it, it has worked for me. Now, visualization and things like that does work, but not everybody is good at visualizing things very clearly and not everybody can get into the state of being of what they want with the appropriate emotions involved every time where others can, which is brilliant. I'm going to share the method with you that is actually in the Bible. It says faith without deeds is dead. What does that mean? It simply means if you pray for something and you really believe that you got it, your prayer has been answered. Well, then you will perceive as though that prayer has been answered. There will be some deeds to perform perhaps in preparation for you getting what you ask for. I'm going to give you some examples of how this works so you have a better understanding and you can use it in any way in which you find it appropriate for your own personal desires in life. A few years ago, I met a woman who had fancied a particular actor. She fancied herself wanting to marry a film star. That was her thing. So what she did was she got a photograph of a film star that she liked and she thought was handsome. She put his picture up on her, up on her mirror. And every morning when she got ready for work, she dressed herself as though she was going to meet him that day. It was very important for her that whenever the time came that she met him, that she looked attractive, she felt beautiful, and that he would find her attractive. So she made sure her hair was done, her makeup was on fleek, I suppose that's the latest words these days, and that she was dressed in such a way that he would find it attractive. And that's what she did. She did that every day. Every day she walked out her house could have been the day that he, that she was going to meet him. And sure enough, a couple of years later, she did wind up meeting a film actor and they got married. So that's one example. If you want to meet someone, you want to get in a relationship with someone, well then prepare yourself to meet them. When you walk up the house and you say, okay, I'm going to meet the, the woman or the man of the dreams of my life. Well, you want to look good. You want to be attractive or whatever it is, whatever deed you could possibly perform in preparation for an event that you feel is a done deal. It will happen. Then that's what you do. I have used this method. There were times where I didn't have any money, but I wanted to go on a holiday. I didn't know how the money was going to come, but I prayed for it. I claimed it. And so I said to myself, right, it's going to happen. So what do I need to prepare for this? So I made a list of the things that I wanted to take on my holiday and what I needed to go on my holiday. One of the things on my list was a suitcase. I needed a suitcase. So I went and I bought a suitcase. I needed some clothes. So I went and bought some clothes. I needed to sort out my children. So I made sure to have someone to watch after them so I can go on my holiday. I did everything that I could possibly do for the position that I was in to prepare for this event that I had claimed that was going to happen. 
And sure enough, not only did the money come for me to go on my holiday, but I actually had extra money that came in and I had a wonderful time. I've done this the times that I wanted to move house. Again, I didn't have any money to move house, but I wanted to move house. So I, I went around, I looked at houses. I saw a house that I wanted to move in and, uh, I said, right. Okay. I prayed. I said, right. I see the type of house I want to move in. So, right. What do I need to prepare for this? From the, from where I was, I thought, well, I'm going to have to buy curtains for the house. So what I did was the very next week I went off and I ordered curtains to go in the new house that I had believed for with absolute certainty that I was going to be living in. And sure enough, the house came up. I did move in there, lived there for 18 and a half years with the lovely curtains that I ordered for my house. I have done that about three or four times in my life. There were times I didn't have money for a car. So I said, right, what do I need for that? Well, I didn't know where the money was going to come from. But I said, well, what can I do to prepare myself to get a car? And I thought to myself, well, I could buy a keychain for my car because I'm going to need something to put my keys on. So I bought a keychain for like two euro for my new car keys. And sure enough, within a month, I had a new car and um, this me I have used this method on many, many different things. The point is, if you believe something is going to happen, so like in all things, you prepare for it. If you were going to have a baby, what would you do? You prepare for it. The baby hasn't been born yet, but you'll go buy some clothes. You'll go buy a crib. You'll buy what the baby needs because you know that the baby's going to come. If you were getting married on a certain day, what would you do? You will prepare for it. You'll go buy your suit. You'll go buy your dress. You'll get your bridesmaids and your grooms. The thing about pre preparation is when you're preparing something, not only are you putting your your mind on it because you're focused on it, you're also physically actively doing something. You're putting your whole self into doing something. It's like Christmas. Preparing for Christmas dinner, you make a list. You say, okay, what do I need to get for Christmas? You may not even have a lot of money, but you have your list of things that you want to get. And so you start taking off your list. Well, I got this present. I got that present. I picked up the turkey. I have this. I have that. And before you know it, Christmas is done and done. done. You had a great time. And you got everything on your list because you actively prepared yourself for it. You knew it was coming. It comes every year on the 25th of December. So there's no wondering whether Christmas is going to come or not. It's the same day every year, you know, and what you do is you prepare yourself for it. You make your list. You start checking your list off. You prepare for it and and just like clockwork, it comes. So if you look at what you want, say like Christmas, I know it's going to come. Nothing's going to stop it from coming. So I better prepare for it. This method works for everything, but it can also work in the reverse too. People who prepare for a rainy day, well, I hope they have an umbrella on their list because it's going to rain. You could prepare for hard times, and then get hard times. I mean, most people do. And then they wonder why times are hard, but sure you're prepared for it. You know, I mean, if you, you might as well prepare for something good as opposed to prepare, prepare for something bad. You know, you're actually, that's, you know, that's the reverse. It, that's using your faith against you. When you prepare for something bad, use that's using faith, but you're using it against yourself, not for yourself. So anyway, um, what I wanted to just share that method with you, try it out. If you have used this method before, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until the next time, Merry Christmas and do have a well-prepared and happy new year.